Yo, what's going on guys, Slice Walkthroughs here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to map the keyboard of a map. So what this basically is, is you can change any key of your keyboard to do something else. So, for example, Shift 4 or something like that, you could change to hashtag. I change WASD to use the arrow keys in certain applications that don't have controls, and simple things like that. And it's you can change pretty much anything on the keyboard, you can even make it say a word, and things like that. So let's jump right into it. So firstly, what you're going to want is you're going to want an application called Ukulele. And basically what this is, is one that just allows you to edit your keyboard and then you save it as a keyboard layout. So head over to this site, the link will be down in the description below. And download the one that concerns your version of Mac OS. So I am going to download Ukulele 3.0.0. .0. Now, once that's downloaded, you'll get a screen like this. Just click and drag that into your applications. So that is in there now. Now, this resources folder has useful tutorials, a uninstall helper, and also some standard keyboard layouts. Okay, so now head over to your applications, click on ukulele, and then allow it to open. And this is what you'll see. Now, this is where you can get straight into it and start mapping them. So for example, I could make this key here say hello or do anything like that change this key here to H things like that press shift and it shows you what would happen if you press shift so I can make shift 3 do hashtag but I don't like to do this on a blank canvas if you want to set it up straight for British do file new current input source and then select the one you want so this could be British USA whichever one you're currently using so now all you need to do is right click this and then click duplicate keyboard layout and then as you'll see this will pop up here now you can close both of these without saving and this is where you can edit everything so for example if you want to change again what shift 3 is so on here it's pound if you want to change that to a hashtag simply just hold down shift and double click this and then you can change what this is to alt hashtag so we can confirm that. Now, other things you have, also, if you want to change things to the arrow keys, double click on the standard arrow keys, copy and paste this code, and paste it anywhere else. Now, another thing you have is dead keys. So these are the things that happen with, like, accents and things like that. So you can change all of these. Just remember, if you want to go back to edit your normal keyboard, make sure to leave where all of these light up. You can change what your F1 keys do and other things like that. And remember, these also use codes. But if you don't remember the code once you change it, so say I change this to hello. So in a game, if I want to say hello really quickly, just do F1. But if I don't want that, I can just click standard and it will go straight back to the code. So I'm going to do some modifications here. So as you saw, I did shift for hashtag. I can do, you can hold down O and change all of these things to copyright, things like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly change, say, H to say hello, change F1 to say hi, change F2 to say welcome, and that is all I'm going to do. Obviously, you can just explore the wide range of this. If you want more advanced tutorials, I recommend reading the documents they gave in that resources folder. But this is all just useful, and here you see what happens when I press control, all the things like that. Now, how do you save this? All you want to do is click File, Save. Now choose a location to save this. I'm going to quickly save this onto my desktop. So I'm going to change this as British Modified. Now another thing you're going to want to do after you have saved that is click Keyboard. Set Keyboard Name and ID. And just change the name here to, again, another name that you want. And generate a new code. Now this doesn't matter. If there's no script here, just select a random one. And just click Generate New Code. Now what we can do is click File, Save again, and then you can click Install, Install for all users, for current users, but if those buttons do not work for you, what you can do is Export Installer Disk Image, and now choose where to save that disk image. This is also useful for sharing this with friends and making it simple to install it. Now once that creates a disk image, you can double click it and load it up. And then all you have to do is drag the British modified dot keyboard layout. So as I'll show you here, double click this, it will open up into a disk image and just drag that 
into keyboard layouts. Now I'm not going to do this because I'm going to show you how you can do it the manual way. So if you want to install it for the user, so just yourself, go into Finder, click go up here, press Alt, go to Library, and then scroll down until you see keyboard layouts, and simply just drag the file we saved earlier over into that. Now, if you want to save it for everyone on the computer, go to your Macintosh HD hard drive folder, and then double click library, and again, click keyboard layouts. Now, I am going to put this one in there. You will have to authenticate this because this is obviously sort of the root file of your Mac. Now, once that's done, how do you then use this? So what you want to do is you want to open up system preferences, go to keyboard, input sources, I would recommend ticking this, show input menu in menu bar, this makes it easy to switch between the keyboards, then click add, and then you will see in others the one that we just installed. So what you want to do is click add there, and now we have got that. Okay, so now that we've done that, what you want to do is you want to go into your application that you want to use, and go up here where we added this bar earlier, and click the one you want. Now, as you'll see here, my Shift 3 now does hashtag. Obviously, you can't see me pressing Shift. My H just straight up presses hello there. And we've got all of those features that we just made. And this is extremely useful for many things. So, for example, if, you, if your keyboard's sort of set up differently to the one that you have and you can't work out how to do it, if you can't work out where a key is that you use a lot, such as the hashtag or anything like that, you can change this all within this application i thank you guys for watching please leave a like rating if this helped you out if you have any questions leave a comment and i'll be sure to reply to you and please guys subscribe